Hi, I'm Daniel and I have a wonderful new video for you today. And this video is about a control panel, a huge four player control panel, which I custom made for a gentleman in the United States who already owned a arcade machine, but he wanted to upgrade it with a crazy over the top four player um, control panel. So I've worked with him on the design. He gave me the exact instructions, exact dimensions and all the options he wanted. And I can already tell you, we went all out. We have the stream deck, the inlay screen. We went for a scratch resistant, uh, super expensive plexiglass as a top layer, um, full RGB lights, the pinball stuff. I made a special front plate for the uh, amplifier and many, many other nice features. So without further ado, let's show you the build. We are in the workshop now and uh, let's start by cutting out all the panels. And of course we have these brand new tools. So let's see how they perform. And the cuts are absolutely spot on. These miters, they are, they are dead accurate. As for the joints, we go for uh, glue and pocket hole screws only. And this gets the very best result as we will be painting the box later. Here I'm routing the T-molding slot with a new router. And all these tools, they make such a big difference with, uh, with the dust. There's almost no dust in the workshop anymore. Super happy with that. So I'm going to use a primer first, apply it, and this is necessary as this MDF has a melamine coating. I'm going to save the cutouts uh, of the artwork later. And this way I can add them inside the buttons which uh, so the, the artwork continues through the buttons which looks absolutely super cool you can see that very well just need to line them up the t-molding i use is gold in color and this goes very well with the artwork insert the keyboard and every control panel needs cup holders always so much fun to do. This is the Elgato Stream Deck, which are 15 small displays buttons with the shortcuts for games and stuff. Fits perfectly. And this is the result. You can see the artwork, which is really beautiful inside the buttons and here at high contrast points it's even even nicer to see you can see the hair and their skin tones these are the FPGA controls the joysticks are of course all RGB lit and uh, player one and two are servo sticks it's the ultimate trackball absolutely gorgeous and this is the uh, the spinner with the small flyweight. In the front of the machine you can see the amplifier which I made a special plate uh, for with Pac-Man engraved in it. And this is the gorgeous 7 inch screen. And this is so amazing. This is for artwork or well you can even game on it if you want but it's gorgeous. You can see the gold color T-molding. It fits so well. And the plexiglass is actually scratch resistant plexiglass. This is, well, almost as good as real glass, but a fraction of the weight. Now let's turn on the RGB lighting. And it is all working and it's so amazing. All the buttons and all the colors are full RGB lit and computer operated by LED Blinky. So every game will tell you exactly which buttons are uh, operable. You can 
see the Stream Deck icons, they're animated. And it just gives the con control panel a, a beautiful look. I love RGB lights. Okay, that was it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this, uh, this build. I myself had lots of fun making it. And please remember, filming um, these builds takes so much effort and so much time. So if you like my work, if you like my builds, uh, take the effort to subscribe to the channel down below, ring the little bell and you will not miss one video in the future. Uh, share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up and also um, comment down below. I read every comment myself and uh, I will respond uh, to each and every one of you. So thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.